All right, now we're going to do 3 quarters divided by 2, and we, again, we have to decide if this is going to be partitive or subtractive division. So I always like to show the 1 to have some idea of what fraction we're looking at, and we're looking at 3 quarters of a whole, and we're trying to divide it by 2. So can we divide this partitively, as in trying to break things evenly onto two plates, or share evenly with two people, or can we do it using subtractive measurement by repeatedly taking away two? Well, we can't repeatedly take away two, but we can definitely split three quarters of something between two people evenly. So in order to split it evenly, we don't want to like cut our little fraction bars, but that's what you would do to cut it evenly, right? There's about half of three quarters there. In order to make it break evenly rather than having quarters, boy, it would be nice if we had eighths, right? So right here, three quarters is the same thing as how many eighths? Yes, six eighths. So we've got our six eighths and we want to break that in half. And wow, that is a whole lot easier than breaking three quarters in half. So let me now draw a picture of that. Here we go. So we've got three quarters, and we want to divide it by two. Let's make quarters first and shade them in quickly. Three quarters. To divide that by two, I'm just going to draw this guy right here, which we can tell pretty clearly that's half and half. But then to make it more meaningful, I'm going to do these and these, okay, and then show that this is one half of it, and this is one half of it. In each half, we have three what's. What are they now divided into? How many equal parts? Eight. There's eight equal parts, so now each half, half of it, since we divided by two, is three eighths. And let's do the arithmetic way. Three fourths divided by two. One. So we're just going to do keep change flip. And we've talked about that in the other videos. For multiplication of fractions, as we've talked about in other videos as well, we multiply across the top three eighths. So that three eighths is what we see here when we broke it into two equal pieces, and it's what we see when we do the arithmetic.